Glycation is probably one of the most important things you've never heard of. Glycation is a biochemical process where sugar molecules like glucose non-enzymatically attach themselves to proteins or lipids, altering their structure and function. This process is rampant in the lung, but it is particularly relevant in diabetes, where elevated blood sugar levels can cause glycation. The more glycation you experience, the more inflammation you'll endure. And one of the most clinically significant examples of glycation is the formation of glycated hemoglobin, or HbA1c. Hemoglobin is a protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen from the lungs to the body's tissues. In the presence of high glucose levels, however, glucose molecules can bind to hemoglobin, forming HbA1c. The level of HbA1c in the blood reflects the average blood glucose concentration over the previous two or three months. This makes HbA1c a valuable marker for long-term glucose control, a measure commonly screened by your physician, and if elevated, can provide an overview of how well you're managing your diabetes over time. The message here is controlling carbohydrate consumption decreases glycation and lessens the burden of disease progression.